Director General of IPRI, welcome, welcome you here physically and also another audience online. So um, today it's the 27th annual Martin J. Foreman Memorial, Memorial Lecture, which IPRI has had the pleasure of hosting since 2002. So it's a long history. So this annual lecture commemorates the noteworthy contributions Dr. Foreman made to international nutrition. So Dr. Foreman headed Office of Nutrition at the USID, US Agency for International Agriculture Research, for more than 20 years. And he was instrumental in drawing uh, attention to nutrition planning and uh, played a critical role in the development of the United Nations Subcommittee on Nutrition, as well as several micronutrient initiatives. So I would like to take this opportunity to appreciate uh, the commitment of USID uh, to the former lecture series, as well as its leadership in the field of nutrition. So Anne Pallis Palliston, where is Anne? Uh, here you go, yeah, raise your hand. So she is the chief of the nutrition division, exactly the same in a position Dr. Foreman held many years ago. The, in the Office of Maternal and Child Health and Nutrition, USID Bureau of Global Health. So he, she's here together with many other U.S. colleagues here. I think I have seen another USID colleagues over here. And this year, USID hosted Martin J. Foreman Fellows from many countries, Zimbabwe, Malawi, and Haiti. And it continues to invest in building social, sorry, local capacity through their foreign service national staff and other country level stakeholders. So each year, a speaker is selected to give the Martin J. Foreman lecture based on their significant contribution in enhancing nutrition on the global stage. So they are invited to present their personal and often very unconventional views on how to improve nutrition worldwide. So I would like to thank the members of our selection committee, Alan Burke, where's Alan? Alan's over there. Canon Foreman, is Canon, and Marsha Griffiths. Marsha couldn't come here today, and obviously Anne Paniston. And our Marie Ro, Marie Ro is there, and Amira Shekha from the World Bank. Great. And so this year we selected Dr. Jim Young Kim, to whom I would like to introduce just in a few minutes. So the lecture comes at a time of rapid global changes that affect global food security and nutrition. So multi-burdens of malnutrition are increasingly prevalent with hunger, undernutrition, and overnutrition coexisting in many, many countries. So overweight, obesity is a new form, of, well, I think the latest emerging form of malnutrition. But rapid urbanization in many countries brings challenges and opportunities for rural and urban nutrition. So for both rural and, area, uh, rural and urban areas. Well, obviously, ongoing climate change, which I think uh, is also touches uh, uh, James Hart, and the persistent conflicts and forced migration contributed to cycles of malnutrition. So yet, there are great opportunities, too, uh, to address all these challenges. For example, countries like China, India, Bangladesh are leading the way with new nutrition plans and strategies. So it's not just a nutrition strategy <coughs> itself. All these strategies have mainstreamed nutrition it's into agriculture strategies, uh, health strategies, even rural development strategies. Um, so greater awareness of cross-sector issues for nutrition. Again, it's not just nutrition, it's not just health, it is water, sanitation, hygiene, women's empowerment, social protection, and even more. So we call it nutrition sensitive strategies, policies, or developments. But I would like to change it to probably nutrition-driven strategies, policies, or investment. The Compact 2025 and epre net initiatives brings multi-sectoral stakeholders together at the global and the country levels to accelerate the end of hunger and undernutrition by 2025. So every year we have the family of Dr. Dr. Foreman join us for the lecture so today. We have their daughters and a son here, so Canon, as well as uh, Cedra. So I will invite K 
Canon, just to give a very brief remarks, as usual, as what you have done for the last, I don't know how many years. Come on, Canon, come to the stage. Okay.